guys and welcome to the Diary of a Junior Fluid Collaboration Project. It is Thursday, which means you guys get to see me, Esra. And this week we have decided to do Ashley Wilde's um, gender tag project. And so basically the gender tag is um, a project created by Ashley Wilde um, when she says she wanted to see how everyone else experiences gender. And since she said that, or they said that gender is so weird and so individual to a person that no one experiences gender the same way which means there's all these different ways that genders can be experienced and she gave us these 10 questions that she would like us to answer and she's going to put it in a playlist and watch try and watch every one of them and um i'm going to answer these 10 questions um the first question is how do you self-identify your gender and what does that identify what does that definition mean to you? I don't identify as gender fluid, but I'm also um, trans masculine. I'm, <laughs> yeah, that's me. Um, it means to me that my gender will shift from now, now and then to um, other genders. I'm, some days I might feel like I'm a gender. Some days I feel like I'm a guy, definitely a guy. <laughs> the girl, other days I feel like I'm, more of a girl but no matter what the presence of a of uh i don't want to say a masculine gender but more of the presence of feeling that i am a boy is almost always there which is why i say trans masculine what pronouns honor you um he him or they them describe the style of clothing that you most often wear <laughs> Well, there's the style of clothing that I wear, and then there's the style of clothing I want to wear. Um, usually I wear um, polos, tank tops, um, running shorts. Um, when I'm more masculine, I tend to wear the um, the tanks with a binder. I, I almost always wear my binder. Always. Um, but <laughs> I'm, re I'm getting a new one, actually, um, Saturday. And then... Um, Polos, uh, I have this awesome button-up plaid shirt that I'm not allowed to really wear because it's too masculine for my grandmother's taste. Um, I like graphic tees with, um, like, things like superheroes. I like band t-shirts. I have more of a punk style, but I'm not really able to wear that because of money and my grandmother's approval. Um... Talk about choices with your body hair and how I style my hair. Um, well, body hair. Um, I don't know. I'm a bit weird about body hair. I don't like body hair very much. I like things to be a bit more clean shaven. I shake my legs when I can. Um, it's, I'm honestly a lot <laughs> too lazy to shave them most of the time, but I feel uncomfortable going outside with no unshaved legs, um, armpits, my armpits almost always have to be shaved because I just, I find it disgusting, I feel as if there's bacteria growing, even though I know that, bo that body hair is completely safe and fine and but that's just my personal choice, um, how do I style my hair, well often I just, I keep it in a ponytail, um, Every now and then, I put it when I'm a guy. When I feel I'm a guy, when my grandmother isn't watching, I put my hair in a beanie and I um just sort of do this and make it all cool. My beanie is downstairs, so I can't go grab it. Um, my hair is getting cut next week. Um, it's not going to be as short as I would like it to be, which is more I want a more androgynous look, a more boyish cut but I'm my grandmother has made it very loud and clear that I'm not allowed to wear have a boy haircut um I'm also not allowed to, allowed to wear my binder or any sports bras around here either but um anyways um I'm gonna have it cut about right here probably and then when I get to college I'm gonna have it cut real short and it's, I want some side swept bangs and everything um do you have facial hair? What do you choose to shave or choose not to shave? Um, I don't, I mean, I have peach fuzz, but that's about it. <laughs> I don't have a mustache or a beard or anything. 
I um I don't shave on my face. Um my arms are never shaved, but they're quite hairy. Uh, my back is never shaved. Um I choose to shave my legs, my armpits, and that's that's really it. Sometimes this is really weird, my hands get hair on them and my feet. I don't I mean unless there's a special event going on, I don't shave there. Um, talk about cosmetics. Do you wet, choose to wear makeup? Do you paint your nails? What type of soaps and perfumes do you use, if any? Um, I very recently have started wearing makeup because I've become more comfortable with with my gender and so confident in my gender that even when I feel more masculine, it's okay to wear makeup and appear more feminine. Um, generally, what I wear is um, mascara, concealer, um eyeliner. I'm not very good with makeup. I used to not be able to apply eyeliner at all because my hands, they sh just shake so much. Um, but I've gotten better and um, it took me the longest time to find a concealer that, that matches my, um, my skin tone. And do I paint my nails? Mm, usually not. I'm not very good at painting my nails. Um, I mean, I'm honestly still learning how to put on makeup, because, um, thank you YouTube tutorials, and, um, paint, I honestly don't have very good nail polish, I usually just, and I forget to put on a layer underneath the actual color and it stains my nails, um, I, for soaps, um, I used, okay, so I wash my hair with Old Spice 2-in-1, um, I have a Old Spice soap too. I also have Old Irish soap. Um, no, I know Old Irish Irish Spring soap, and I also um, I also have this coconut soap that is for my skin, and I put that on first. And I don't I don't really like the smell of it, so I put on the Irish Spring or the Old Spice over that, and then um, I have um a lot of facial washes because my acne is pretty miserable and um i have lotions from bath and body works but they're so strong and smelling that i don't wear them very often and um i don't wear perfumes at all be simple because um it hurts my lungs um have you experienced being misgendered if so how often <laughs> very often I'm not out to my family so I get misgendered every day um, I'm obviously pretty feminine looking so people don't know that I'm gender fluid most people don't know um, outside the LGBT community don't know what gender fluid is or non-binaries especially around here in sunny Arkansas and so um yeah uh, my my friends though I came out to my friends um, I think this year or last year, I can't remember, and, um, they were pretty chill about it, and they're still getting used to it, but they respect everything, and they, they believe me, and they very much support me. I have had a couple bit of grief at my old school, um, for example, I've had people come up to my friend, a uh, friend of mine, and ask them if I only am this way, if I'm gender fluid simply because of my tough home situation, which I didn't appreciate, but soon enough I'll be able to present in the way I want, and soon enough I'll be able to be openly um, gender fluid and pansexual as much as I want. Talk about children. Are you interested in having children? Would you want to carry a child if they were that were an option for you? Do you want to be the primary caretaker for your any children you may have? Um, no. I don't want children. My, I'm not gonna go on about my parents, because that's not, that's not the topic of this video, but simply enough, I don't believe I would be the best parent, so I don't want to have a child. Plus, I don't want to go through the pains and labor of having to, sh my private parts, stretch to fit out a baby come out of it. If that makes sense, I worded that weird. But I don't want to go through that. No, that's too painful. Would you want to carry a child if that were an option for you? No, I don't want to carry a child. If I were to have a child, I will adopt that child. Um, I'd actually probably adopt an older child, um, a teenager, 
if I get if I decide to do that because teenagers are the least likely um to be adopted in a um from an adoption center and really I mean being a teenager is tough I mean being without a parent being orphaned uh, I mean as a teen that has to suck and I want to help out if I can do that if I decide to have children um I do want to be the primary caretaker for my children I may have definitely well I guess if I were to have a child which I'm most likely am not um and it were to be biologically my own I might give it up for adoption but honestly I just I don't see myself having a child Talk about money. Is it important for you to provide for a family financially if you choose to have one? Is it important to you? Um, yes, it's very important for me. I will contribute as much as I can. I mean, college fund right from the start is there before they were even born. I would have a college fund ready for them. Um, start it up anyways. Um, is it important to you that you earn more money than any partner you may have? No, no, it isn't. Absolutely not. If you are have a better job than me or if you get simply if you get paid more than me that doesn't matter to me it's I mean I don't understand why that would rub some, pe some people the wrong way I don't I honestly just don't know I mean <laughs> um do you prefer you to pay for things like dates um I it doesn't matter to me I mean if you offer to pay for my date I mean go ahead um, but, uh, I guess it wouldn't, like, if I were to ask you out on the date, I wouldn't expect you to pay for the day. I mean, maybe go halfsies, that would be okay. Um, but honestly, it's a little rude if you ask me to pour out on a date and you ask me for, to pay for both of us. But, whatever. Um, do you, uh, are you uncomfortable with other paying, other things? people paying for you or offer to pay for you um I have to admit it does make me a little uncomfortable simply because um my financial situation was very bad we were um very 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 poor my mom and I um I often had to skip out on going out with friends simply because I couldn't pay for what we were doing or when we would go my friends would pull together and make money for me to go out and I just feel like people have paid for me to do things for so long and so often that I don't want people to do that for me anymore I feel like a burden when it happens but if, if it's something like a date it's okay um if I have the money anyways and you're like no 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 don't pay for it don't pay for it that's okay but if it's simply because I don't want to say hey I don't have the money and you go oh I'm gonna pay for you I guess I just kind of don't want the pity. Um, number 10, anything else? Um, no, there's not really anything else about my gender. Um, I guess I say I, I hope this helps anyone who's watching this video. Um, but this is how I identify. Um, if that doesn't, if a specific term doesn't really fit you best, that's okay. Gender is a weird thing, and there's no rush to identify as anything. You have your entire life to figure it out, and it's okay if you never do. Um, I know it's a source of stress for many people, and I hope you all the best. Also, um, announcement, uh, a reminder that we do have um, the auditions due this Saturday, July 18th. Um, send them in. If you can't get them in time, send me a message either on my personal or on the Diary of a Junior Floyd Tumblr. Um, I've already received some of your auditions. I'll get to looking at them as soon as possible. We look forward to watching your video and we will let you know if you have, um, we will let you know who the winner is. We will make an announcement when we have chosen someone as soon as we decided. But, um, yeah. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching this video. Thank you, Ashley Wilde, for creating this project. Um, and I look forward to any auditions that are sent in. And um, thank you guys. Love you. See you next Thursday.